Welcome to the Bible Forum, <clears throat> or what's left of it. I'm Warren Sprouse. I'm your host and your guide. As you can tell, I'm not going to be much of a guide, and maybe not very much of a host either. I came down with this sometime late this afternoon. Not quite sure what it's from. Started Friday afternoon about 5.30 with chills and funny <clears throat> yesterday it seemed like it would had passed this morning I was able to go to church I lead the singer sing in the choir I was able to do everything teach Sunday school and maybe that was the problem <laughs> because about four o'clock as I said it just started to come unglued and I feel badly <clears throat> because I really am not going to do you any good tonight I'm not going to be able to share uh, like this, I may actually run out of steam before it's all over. I am going to post this video so that folks know that the material, the information that I sent out this weekend is not going to be shared today. Uh, if it gets better uh, after Wednesday, then I will probably do something on Thursday. I'll have to pray about that, think about that. <clears throat> see if that's the most rational thing to do and maybe my first thought was just do the show in my closet and post it you'd at least have the material but I really would like to do it when you're here so that on the chat room you can interact with it and with me and all the rest of it so I probably will wait till next Sunday I may rearrange some of the material but I'll do that. I did want to share one thing with you, uh, something that I, I found very interesting. And uh, most of us, I think, uh, saw a great deal, perhaps not all, of President George H.W. Bush's funeral. Uh, we saw a lot of dignitaries there. We saw our, our current president there uh, interacting with the past presidents and their wives. <clears throat> But there was a, a, a tweet, an article, something that popped up later and asked the question, what's wrong with President Trump? He did not recite the Apostles' Creed. Do you know why he didn't do that? It was a very good reason for him not to do that. He doesn't know it. It isn't that he's an unbeliever, although I think he is. It isn't that he's a reluctant observer, although he probably was. He just doesn't know it. The Apostles' Creed is not known in the Catholic Church. It's not known in Baptist churches. And that's where he went to church if he went to church. If it's a Protestant church, a mainline Protestant church, uh, Methodist church, uh, liberal Presbyterian church, um, What's the other? There's another group in there that uh, I can't think of. Pres Did I say Presbyterians? Yeah. Uh, and maybe even in some of the Baptist churches that are American Baptists, they're, they're liberal. Uh, they recite this every worship service. But we don't, I don't, it isn't done in independent churches, fundamental churches, Baptist churches, churches that actually believe the Bible. Uh, it's not wrong to do. It just isn't done. And so when this recitation came up, and it seemingly the whole world knew what it was, he didn't know. Give him some room. Everything's cool. I do have some really interesting statistics <clears throat> about how many Christians there are in America and how that all breaks down and why. I was going to share that at the end of the program uh, in the... Uh, Sunday sermon series, but that's not going to happen. So, you pray for my voice, <laughs> and we'll see what we can do next week <clears throat> uh, about getting all this fixed up. Uh, talk to people about the Bible Forum. Uh, take the uh, newsletter, the, the letter that I sent out yesterday, and forward that to everybody on your email list. Try to get people interested. Uh, maybe some of them would like to d contribute. Uh, that would be a help. Uh, I, the letter says, you know, you get a shirt. 
Uh, I thought later I should have put, you get a book. I got two books I've written. I'll give you both uh, and a shirt if you'll commit to a $30 a week uh, for the next 12 months, <laughs> $30 a month for the next 12 months. Uh, we are facing uh, a decision uh, in the f near future. But until then, you take care of yourself. Uh, I'm going to <clears throat> stop the recording, uh, but I'm not going to stop the, the stream. I'll be around for a while. But just tune in next week, and uh, all will be well. We trust God.